Hi, I'm Chris, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to write an equation in standard form. So for standard form, we see this general formula of ax plus by equals c, which basically means that we want to try to get our x's and our y's on the same side, and then set that equal to a numerical value, or a constant, c. Now there are a couple of rules that we want to keep in mind about standard form. First of all, for the coefficient on x, we want that coefficient to be positive. So we want a to be greater than 0. And then secondly, we want all whole number values, or rather integer values, on these, which means no fractions. So let's take a look at a line written in slope-intercept form, like we see here in number 1. y equals 1 third x minus 2. And let's see how we could convert that to proper standard form. So first, if there's no fractions, we want to go ahead and try to get rid of our fractions on this, which means if your denominator is 3, we're going to multiply the entire equation by 3 to cancel that out. And when we do that, we distribute the 3 to every term. So we have 3 times y. When we multiply 1 over 3 times 3, the 3's cancel, so we're left with 1x which you can just write as x, or if you're more comfortable, you can put the coefficient in front to keep track of it, but it's a little bit easier if we just view it as x by itself um, rather than adding any extra number. And then when we multiply a negative 2 times 3, we get 6. So here we have 3y equals x minus 6. Now, for standard form, remember, we want to get our x's and our y's on the same side. So let's move that x over by subtracting x. And that would give us a negative x plus 3y equals negative 6. Now, some of your teachers might let you keep it in this form where we have a negative coefficient on the x. But some of your teachers are going to require you to make that coefficient on the x a positive value. And ideally, that's what we should aim for whenever we convert something into standard form. So if this is a negative, all that we have to do is multiply our entire equation by a negative 1 to cancel out the negative and change the sign of everything. So here as we distribute that, we get a positive x, a negative 3y, and a positive 6. So for proper standard form, x minus 3y equals 6 is what we would end up with as our solution when converting this equation in slope-intercept form into its corresponding standard form. Let's take a look at one more example, just to make sure we've got it. So over here, we've added in um, a new challenge where we now have the x on this side, but we have the y on the right side. So we're just switching up the way that this one looked. It's no longer in slope-intercept form. This is just the equation written negative 3x equals 1 fifth y plus 4 that we need to rearrange so that it looks like standard form. So just like we did over here, first things first, we're going to eliminate the fraction. And so in this case, what do we need to multiply our entire equation by to get rid of this denominator? If you said 5, you're correct. So we need to multiply everything by 5, which would leave us with a negative 15x equal to y plus 20. Next up, we want to bring our x and y over to the same side. We already have the x over here. We're going to go ahead and bring over the y by subtracting it. So we subtract y from this side. We get negative 15x minus y equals 20. And then we notice that we have a negative coefficient on x, which we want to get rid of. So we're going to multiply the whole thing by a negative 1 to change the sign and give us a positive 15x plus y equal to a negative and that would be standard form of that equation once we rearrange it. For more, please visit our website, sandersontestprep.com, and you can watch more math-related videos on STP TV. Thanks for watching.